Hello and welcome back to News Rust. Today is currently, well, it would be Monday the 28th of February. Um, rain has lessened and the, sa the sky is hopefully visible again. And um, look, I'll show you, I'm just going to play a few videos from yesterday when it was the worst. It was the worst we've seen on Sunday. The rain, the flooding, it, it got to possibly the worst we've seen. So I'll just show you these videos now. As you can see here, this is my backyard. I think it's just quite wet. Um, yeah, it's uh, quite a state at the moment. Um, that's about level when I put my foot in there. Well, it's going to go underwater. It's quite extraordinary, really. Um, rain has been coming down this hard uh, just about all day. Uh, as it's approximately 1 p.m. on Sunday. And if I just take a step out here, just a step here, look, my feet is fully submerged in the water. And it's a very interesting state. So I'll take you out. I'll take you out front and show you what is, what's happening through there. Coming outside into into my driveway, we look at this um, running all the way down the driveway, very a bit deep here, and coming out on the road, it's absolutely like like no other. All right, we step in here and look. That's uh, it's about ankle deep, and it's coming up. This is a road, and just look here. I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely just in water. I'm stepping. I'm currently. I'm stepping in a pool of water. Like I'm walking around, and I'm just stepping in a pool. And it's quite frankly, it's unbelievable. So it's quite something. Um, I don't think these. Uh, it's quite cold actually. <laughs> Shivering almost, and yeah, so it's very, very deep, and there is just water everywhere. The drains are not coping at all. We'll go have a look at one of the drains. They are certainly just not coping at all. It's a bit drier over here, or a bit less wet, I should say. I shouldn't say it's not very dry. And the drains are having quite a difficult time. Oh yeah, if you think of that, there's like. Well, a small dry bit of road here and then it just goes into fully submergement. <laughs> Gee, it is quite cold out here actually. Um, yeah, and you're just fully submerged once you go down here and all the way across the road. It's just fully sub submerged. There's not much you can do about it. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, it is windy and it is so cold. But that is just, just the state that we're in at the moment. Uh, the sky, nothing really much to be seen, except a lot of cloudy clouds and take a look over here at this grass, it's just a bit more of the same, just ankle deep. And the driveway, it's really getting to the driveway, it's putting up on this grass, but the worst is the road just there. Um, so I'll take you back to the newsroom now. So yes, some quite, quite some surreal footage there. So I hope you've all stayed safe during this flood event. But in other breaking news, okay, in other breaking news, Plasticine and clay is the same thing. I thought I'd put this out there because this is relevant and this is an important thing to know. Plasticine and clay are the same thing. It's the same thing. Clay is plasticine. Plasticine is clay. Just to put this out there. Okay, on another note. Um, look, I know there's been a high influx of news rust videos, but once this flood stuff becomes irrelevant, then I can just schedule these news videos to be whenever. And we can have a few gaming videos in between, which would be lovely. But as far as I'm concerned, the next gaming video is coming out tomorrow, 1st of March 2022. Um, get excited. It's a good one. 
And as always, we've got a few. We've always got a few in the folder. So get excited. Um, so yeah, but I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying my time in the studio, <laughs> in the news sort of studio. Unfortunately, Anna not with us tonight. Our lovely co-host, she's gone to bed. Unfortunate. Um, she'll be back. She'll be back in hopefully. Th- the next edition of News Rust, as well as s- Three Slips and a Gully podcast, getting a bit of a re-ma- revamp, and we'll be coming back to you soon with some information on the tour to Pakistan. But with that being said, we're going to now go over to the weather. Let me come to you now with the weather forecast for Monday, the 28th of February, with Sydney we have a low of 25 and a top of 25 degrees. Melbourne, it's a low of 18 with a top of 26. Brisbane, we have a low of 21 degrees with a high of 29. Perth is a t- low of 20 with a high of 36 degrees. Gee, it's getting hot in the west nowadays. Adelaide is 19 to 27. In Hobart, we have a low of 16 and a high of 22. Geez, would not want to be freezing myself in Hobart right now. Canberra, a low of 14 with a high of 24. And over up in Darwin, we have a low of 25. With a high of 31. And we move on to breaking news now. Um, Wyvernhoe Dam is approaching 180% capacity. Despite staged releases um, throughout the weekend. Um, so yes, this is obviously not, not what you love to see. But we know that these dams can hold quite a lot of water these days. And as long as we're all forgetting it when it's flooded, we should all be okay. But let's move on to sport. Australian men's cricket team has touched down is in Islamabad, Pakistan for the first time in 24 years. The team have been comforted with an estimated 4,000 police and military, military officials surrounding the hotel and nearby stadium in Rawal Pindi. Now, I hope I said that right. But yes, that's a whopping 4,000 military personnel and police um, around the hotel and the stadium. So, it's very, very high security over in Pakistan. Obviously, the first time they've toured there since 1998. And in tennis, Daniil Medvedev is set to take the number one spot from Novak Djokovic once... The f- the in the coming weeks, the standings, the updated standings have been published. So um, that's uh, that's big news. When I'm one male tennis player, Novak Djokovic is about to be absolutely booted out of there. That is the latest in sport and the latest in news rust. Click the notification bell down below if you would like to stay posted for more Rusty AU videos. Otherwise, thank you and good night.